again, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I do apologize being gone for a couple of weeks, but due to the holidays, you know, Christmas is Christmas. Family comes first. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. I know my family and I had a wonderful Christmas, and I also want to wish you all a happy new year. Now that the uh, 2019 year is almost at an end, uh, um, Another thing is, uh, you know how I talked about uh, my drag truck, uh, Blue. So, uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to take a brief second, show you guys what I've done with Blue, and what we're going to be doing next year, uh, well, for the new year, uh, with her. But yeah, let's get started. Oh, and if you are new to my channel, alright, consider subscribing, because I've got a lot more stuff coming. Uh, real soon, especially for the blue truck, and I've got something special for the silver truck, a hint on uh, what we're going to be doing uh, cosmetically and design-wise uh, moving forward for SEMA uh, this year coming up, uh, trying to get everything done as quickly as possible. All right, so stay tuned. Let's, uh, let me show you real quick what I've done with blue. Look at the mess we've got over here. So there's a lot of parts and stuff that need to be replaced um but we're going cheap we're going budget um but yeah so far what you see here is i've got the fenders all taken out the incomplete front end is completely dismantled um uh, reason why is I wanted to check the frame, make sure there was no real damage to the frame rust-wise, uh, any uh, damage uh, with dents or anything. The only big thing is just build-up. Um, there is some rust, you know, but not real bad. Um, other than that, um, if, if you see, I got all the wiring harness just sitting on one side for the time being this engine right here i am not going to be using this is a dummy engine so it's going to be something that i can use to just whatever you know creative monstrosity i can come up with but the braking system is definitely no good the suspension on here is definitely no good um if you look at the you know upper ball joint here this thing is completely shot that needs to be replaced so there's a lot of a lot of work that needs to go into just the suspension alone <clears throat> um i am uh next going to be removing all the body panels the carpeting the roof the uh seats the dashboard everything's getting re uh tearing completely out of it uh, I was underneath the uh, the truck to check to see if there was any like holes, like I said, rust, any dents, any dings, any damage whatsoever. There's nothing wrong with this frame. So we've got a really good frame here um, for a, I'm hoping, fast truck if we can minimize some of the weight. Like the hood, that's about you know, 25, 35 pounds right there. That can go. You could probably get a carbon fiber hood for that. Um, I did find carbon fiber fenders for both sides. Um, uh, they are a, uh, kind of like a dune kind of fender. They kind of poke out a little bit, but we'll see. I don't know yet. Um, I am leaving the heavy ass, uh, uh, you know, the frame metal steel and everything like that. I think what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to be cutting a lot of this out here on both ends and we're going to be doing a little bit of pipe uh, body work, whatever, so that we can just mount a uh, front bumper and then the, the grill. And then we really don't need uh, uh, both headlights. So I got an idea for that. But we're going uh, twin turbos with this setup here. Um, not with this engine because we are going to be, and I've already started working on it as a matter of fact, <clears throat> right here. So this is another 5.2. All right. It's got a little over 200,000 miles on this engine, on the block and everything. Um, but I recently tore off the, the big old keg. You know, everything else that needs to be taken off. I've got my rods and, and everything in this box, all my bolts and stuff, so that there I know 
um, where all my tools and all my parts are and stuff. And if you notice, this is, uh, this is my man cave. If anybody knows, um, or recently seen that me painting my bumper last time, but anyways, we're doing a twin turbo kit on this engine here. So, um, everything is going to be disassembled. Uh, I've looked at, I've, I've felt and looked at all the walls and they're in excellent condition. There's nothing wrong, no scrapes, no burn, no scorches, nothing like that. So what I'm going to do is as soon as I get the time, we're going to winch this up. I'm going to put it on my engine stand. We're going to turn it around. I'm going to take the oil pan, everything out, take the camshaft out, the crankshaft, um, this whole water pump assembly right here, timing belt, everything, all of it's coming completely off. And instead of actually getting aftermarket parts like I originally planned, the parts that are in here are they're in excellent condition for, you know, being a 99 with over 200,000 miles. One of the things that I don't like is the flathead pistons. All right. I do not like the flathead pistons in here and i do apologize it is dirty it needs to be cleaned but we're going to be replacing those pistons with something performance wise we've got a uh, new camshaft uh thumper camshaft from comp cams coming in for this we've got uh roller cam uh racing roller cam from comp cams coming in um electric uh water pump uh because i'm running uh the two extra electric water fans in the back there i don't know you guys can really see it uh we're going to redo the entire transmission that i have over here we're going to re re uh, be rebuilding that as well and uh we're going to be trying to come up with a range with the twin turbo kit because the the setup that i'm getting i'm getting two t45 turbos uh, to mount on this engine and put into the blue truck um, and we're going to be doing a lot of gutting and a lot of weight loss uh, so stay tuned for more of that uh, this year come around uh, for the new year 2020 we're going to be doing a lot more builds with uh, performance wise um, this whole setup so uh, I hope you guys will join me on that once it's all done. I'm hoping that you guys will uh, help me uh, get more subscribers and uh, give uh, some people some shout outs for me and let me uh, let them know, hey, man, there's some guy out there that's building up a twin turbo 5.2 liter uh, for a Dodge Durango. So let everybody know I am I'm trying my best really hard to be the first Dodge full drag truck Dodge Durango. Like, just full-time Dodge Durango drag truck. I want that to be known. So, um, if any of you guys out there are, are already doing it, uh, kudos to you. I'm, I'm happy to join the family. But if there is no one out there, I want to be the first. I know there's a lot of Dakotas. I know there is another Dodge Durango out there that has a twin turbo setup or a supercharger setup. Uh, but they're not full-time drag cars. So... Uh, if there's anyone out there, hit me up on Instagram or on my Facebook page. Uh, I'll leave the link in description down below. Uh, please leave any comments down below if you guys know anybody that uh, already has the 5.2 liter Durango in my year model. That's a full-time drag truck. I would love to, you know, join their group and, you know, get some views and some ideas. But for now, I'm mad scientist. Uh, I'm going to be the mad scientist and... Uh, put my time and effort on here uh and making this engine the most powerful 5.2 out there so we'll see all right so stay tuned we're gonna get started on the stabilizers do you guys ever wonder if anytime you do an automotive project if things will end up going right well yeah so we have a problem <laughs> <laughs> 